I forgot I had this shirt and it looks orange but it's pink. Good morning everyone. It is Friday. Welcome to another weekend reading vlog. I it is Friday so I do have to go to work right now. Shenzi is just hi Shenzi. It's morning. So I actually woke up early today. Like I mean you can hear in my voice. I did my makeup really quick, just something simple, which I don't do anymore because of the mask. So this is the first time I'm wearing makeup to work in a very long time. So I just thought since I had time, I would do my makeup. But now I'm running late, like always. I am going to make my coffee right now because we don't want to stop at Starbucks. So right now I'm going to make my coffee and think about what book I'm going to start because I want to start a new book today and maybe fantasy. I'm not sure yet, but let's go make coffee. Okay, we are kind of crooked, but that's fine because I'm tall, so I need the angle. Okay, so I was looking at the books that I have, and I actually want to read a physical book. I have been reading just audiobooks, and that's because I drive and I go to work, so I, I haven't picked up a physical book in a very long time. I'm going to use some raspberry syrup now. So I was looking at my bookshelf right now to see which book... I wanted to start reading because obviously I have to start reading it on my way to work right now so I want to start the audiobook and then pick it up once I get back home and during the weekend and I was gonna start reading a book this month that I'm no longer gonna read um, at least you guys won't hear about it here I have chosen that book for one of my pride book of the month picks and I had to think about another book and also one last stop I was reading especially for this month and I had to put that one down because I was not enjoying it. So I wanted to pick a book that had LGBTQ representation so I decided to go with Honey Girl. So I am going to start this on audiobook. I'm going to take it with me because I'm probably going to have downtime. So I'm going to take it. It's a really short book so I think I'm going to be able to finish it either tonight or tomorrow morning. I'm actually very excited because I think that the main character goes to Vegas and gets married. She gets drunk and then she gets married with, and she can't remember what happened and then she ends up flying to New York I believe where the now wife lives. So I think it's like a traveling exciting things happen kind of book so I'm excited for it. I just want a story that grabs me and I can enjoy because I haven't been I haven't been enjoying the books I've been picking up so we'll see what happens it might be just my reading slump but we'll see okay I have to run hello guys I just got off work so it is 4 35 and it is 104 degrees outside so I'm about to be a sweaty mess as you guys can see, I am in a different car and that's because I'm in my boyfriend's car because my car's AC does not work and this girl cannot be driving in 104 degree weather without AC. So I borrowed his car and I have to go fix mine tomorrow. Hopefully it works. But anyways, it is, it is hot and as you guys know i don't like it so i order a boba coffee tea i get the coffee milk boba tea so i am about to go get that because it's gonna be so good so nice refreshing and it's gonna keep me up i read i read about five to six chapters of honey girl and i'm really enjoying it so my plan for today is to continue reading that tonight however I think I am gonna see some friends tonight I'm not sure in that department yet but either way if I see friends or I end up reading the book I want to be awake for that so I'm gonna have coffee and it's gonna be a good night it's gonna be a good night uh, it's hot I have to go guys it's hell I had to put my hair up but we got the boba it's right here give me a second I don't think you guys can see me right but This is heaven. It's like forget Starbucks, forget everything I ever got before. This is my guilty pleasure 
only have it on Fridays now because I was having it so many times during the week I had to cut it off out of my daily life so it's so good good morning guys it is Saturday I had some friends over last night so I didn't get to read anymore or update you guys on nothing because I wasn't reading but it is Saturday now and I do have a few things to do but before that I need coffee <laughs> So good, so good. And just in case, I do have my water. I've been trying to drink at least half of this, if not all of it, before I drink my coffee. So I am almost done with it. So I can drink my coffee. Let me put things away and I'll talk to you guys. Okay guys, I thought I was going to have more time too. Okay, thank you. Thank you. I think she knows. Um, I thought I was going to have more time to update you guys, but I have to head out. I'm going to go do a little something to my hair. I haven't had my hair dyed in like four years. So since 2018. Hi! This is all like my hair. Like I haven't had anything done to it since then and you know just cut but today i'm gonna do a little something it's not gonna be a lot it's just gonna be like in the front so i'll show you guys when i get back but i have to run out the door because i have like five minutes to get there and it's pretty close so i'm fine i was reading more of honey girl right now i think i'm on chapter six seven hi shinsi okay say hi say hi like what is this i'm really liking it it's going by really fast and it's entertaining we just got to know the characters right now and how they met so i will talk more about the book later hello guys it is now thursday i believe the last time i talked to you guys was on sunday which was father's day i got no it was saturday it was actually saturday so saturday morning was the last time that i talked to you guys and that's when i went to get my hair colored um i came back that saturday and i actually didn't like my hair this was not the color i was supposed to get it was supposed to be like a lighter brownish like blonde brown it was supposed to be lighter than this this looks very orange and I did not like my hair at all so I didn't want to come in here and show you guys because I wanted to get it fixed before seeing you guys again and that didn't happen and then Sunday was Father's Day so I spent it with my family and you know Shensi what are you doing again so Sunday I spent it with my family Father's Day you know and then Monday Tuesday it just happened and I was trying to fix my hair so we couldn't find a time and date for me to get my hair fixed so it is Wednesday now I haven't read much I was supposed to finish this book since like Saturday Sunday and I am on chapter 15 I, st I still have about 50 pages to go on this book so I might finish it until tomorrow because tonight I, I'm just gonna clean up the kitchen and my room because today is the third episode of Loki and I'm gonna watch it. My boyfriend's gonna come later, like in about an hour, and we're gonna watch Loki. I am loving it so much. I just, I'm so excited. I love Loki. If you guys don't know, because I don't think I've said this, Loki's like my favorite Marvel villain if he's considered a villain still um 
one of my favorite characters. He is just the best. I love Tom Hiddleston. Like, I just think he does the best Loki ever. And I just love him. And I'm just glad that they did not kill his character off. And I'm excited to continue watching Loki and seeing him in the next movies, of course. So I'm actually going to take this until tomorrow. And tomorrow, Thursday, will be the last day for this vlog so I can upload on Friday because I haven't uploaded a video in like two weeks after saying that I was gonna upload a video every week so we're gonna try again hopefully we do better this time and yeah oh also I want to show you guys something I don't know if you guys remember if you guys watched the last vlog Shensi was playing with my plant and her name is Nesuko and I just want to show you guys because this plant was gifted to my sister. And if you guys know about plants, please let me know. This plant was like, it looks like it was burnt. And I don't know if the plant is sick or was sick or it actually got burnt. I'm not sure. But it's growing. So it was gifted to my sister and she doesn't take care of plants. And I started getting plants lately so i told my sister that if she let me i would care for it and she said yes right away so she gifted it to me and her name is nesuko and you guys it has baby leaves so i'm gonna show you guys so she's right here in all of her glory i think i have to repot her because i want to make sure that this is like inside the dirt if that makes sense but this is a baby leaf and it is actually very healthy so i think that the plant got burned somehow i'll show you guys um like this one right here if you'll focus okay it doesn't want to focus but like do you guys see the edge of this one especially this one right here um it looks like it looks like it was burned it might be sick i don't know but this one is so pretty and healthy and there's one growing right here so i am actually very excited that nesuko is thriving and shensi we don't play with her here i'll take you outside come on hey that's my mask okay there she goes that was a very long update so i'm actually gonna keep listening to the audiobook of honey girl while i clean up do the dishes and clean the room so i'll see you guys tomorrow actually hi guys it is super late i just got out of the shower because i did a workout and now i'm just having some tea so i can go to bed but i was editing this vlog earlier and then I realized that I never wrapped it up so I just want to do that real quick I'm gonna put this down because it is actually very hot I just wanted to talk about honey girl real quick this is the book that I read so I did finish it and I really enjoyed the book but I do want to say that I think the ending saved the book for me because I was enjoying it I thought it was an okay book but the last few chapters is what saved the book for me like the thing that actually made me enjoy the book and i don't know reflect on it maybe so i went into this book believing that we were gonna follow grace and the whole concept of her meeting a girl in vegas and marrying her a complete stranger and then she decided to go to new york visit her in new york where the girl was from and then go in her journey meeting this girl and everything and it is part that but i actually thought we were gonna get more of that romance and just like explore their relationship by you know like getting married not knowing each other and then like getting to know each other but i feel like it was that but it had a lot more to do with grace's character than the whole marriage idea and that's what saved the book at the end because so when grace goes to new york that's when we start to see grace's character develop a little bit more and being more rounded because grace was just like this perfect 
per I was gonna say perfect girl, but she's actually 29, so she's a woman already. So she lived her life trying to meet everyone's expectations and being the perfect person, being the perfect student, perfect daughter, perfect friend, perfect everything until, you know, things bottled up and that's when Grace starts to realize that there's more to life than trying to be perfect and trying to meet everyone's expectations of her and I mean even herself just trying to be so perfect and doing what's right all the time and I think that's what I liked at the end. I do think Grace was a Leo and I don't know that's I, I really like the book at the end. I thought we were gonna like explore the romance of these two girls who don't know each other and got married but um not necessarily. I forgot the girl's name. Yuki. Yuki. She married Yuki and I thought like Yuki did help her a lot. I'm not gonna say she didn't. Yuki helped Grace see things diff in a different way so that's where it all started but I mean it was a good read. That's all I wanted to say. I just wanted to wrap up the vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog and I hope to see you guys soon. Bye.